Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 9 using subqueries part 1. This chapter is divided into four lessons using subqueries, single row subquery, multi row subquery, and multi column subquery. In this lesson we are going to learn what is the subqueries and how to write a subquery statement. So let's look at this example to understand what is the subqueries and why we need subqueries. Let's assume that we want to return all employees who earn more than 10. So first thing you have to identify the salary of 10 employee. How much 10 earns? So this is the subquery. The subquery returns the salary of 10 user and this salary will be used by the main query to identify all employees who earn more than 10. For example, if 10 earns 2,000, returns all employees who earn more than 2,000. So this is the idea of subquery. The subquery is a query within another main query or within another outer query. The syntax of writing a subquery, select column list from table list, where expression and operator, this is the sub query. So this sub query in our example returns the salary of chain employee and then the outer query returns all employees who earn more than chain. So first of all, the sub query or the inner query executes, return an output to the outer query or to the main query and then the main query executes and return the final result. So let's have a look at these examples to understand the idea of the sub query. Select last name salary from employees where salary greater than select salary from employees where last name equal chain. So here we have a sub query and we have an outer query. So the sub query run first and return the salary of employee called chin. So this subquery will return, for example, 8,200. So this is the salary of employee chin. Then the outer query use the output from the subquery to return the final result. Select last name salary from employees where salary greater than the value returned by the subquery, which is in our case 8,002. So this is the final result. As we can see, all salaries greater than 8,200. In the second example, select last name salary department ID from employees where salary greater than or equal. Select average salary from employees. In this example, we want to return all employees who earn more than the average salary in table employees. So first of all, we want to find out the average salary from table employees. So this subquery returns the average salary from the employees table. So it returns this value. And this value will be used by the main query or the outer query to return the final result. So select last name salary department ID from employees where salary greater than or equal the value returned by the subquery which is 6411. So it returns these employees. So in this lesson we learned about subquery and how to use subquery. I hope this video was informative for you. And thank you for watching.